So I wanted to make this video for you as a shortcut to the solution to this problem. And so um, you can see that if you Google this here, if you Google variations not saving WooCommerce, you'll find many different uh, instances of this problem. But it's hard to find a solution. Um, but here's where, let's go back to the website and I'll show you exactly what's not working and why and to get there we'd go to WooCommerce system status that's going to bring us to this page where you can get a system report or you could just read it directly from the screen here and as we scroll down you're going to see PHP right here in the server environment PHP max input variables by default WordPress gives you 2000 if you're selling variation subscriptions 2000 just isn't enough I ended up calling my host and they increased it to 5000 which should be enough um, and this happened twice it happened one time just because that was the default number of variations I had and once I ran over I started having this problem that you're probably experiencing as well and the second time it happened and the second time it happened was when I updated WordPress and so those are the two instances to be mindful of but I just called my host HostGator and or maybe it was through chat I asked them to increase the max input variables first couple first couple of times I caught I didn't know that's what it was and they couldn't figure it out why it wasn't saving once I found it found out that it was simply just increasing the number of variables through the PHP they fixed it both times if you don't have the ability here's a couple if you don't have the ability to have your host do it or if you just you'd rather do it yourself here are the best articles that I could find and based on these articles here at the A2 Hosting Inc. website there's different kinds of here I'll just read it to you the information in this article only applies to products listed in the articles detail sidebar if you have different products such as shared or reseller hosting which I think is what I have through HostGator you should use this method and read this article and if you click on this article it brings you to this page where there's two other instances where you might want to or you might have to use these directions or these directions so I'd say if you want to find out more about this problem and you're just interested in how WordPress is programmed this is your this is where you would want to go but if you'd rather have if you don't have a technical background like myself you'd rather have um, somebody who does fix this problem HostGator can do it for you if you have them. If not, um, call your host and 